What's up, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Walking Dead Telltale Series Definitive Edition right here. About to start up episode 2, Star for Help. Let's get right into it. Alright, let's play this. Episode 1 was just the beginning. Episode 2 is about to be a wild episode here. Oh, damn. Getting right into it. I know who you are. Oh, shit! Carly. This old ass prick was not watching the damn road. Oh Been damn. All by yourself through this? Clementine. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Boss. <laughs> One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I. It's <laughs> that old prick. Another old prick. So many old pricks in this game. We chose to save Carly. Look at this old ass prick. Just let me kill him already. My daughter or that little girl you've got with you. You watch your. Just me. Let me kill this dumbass old prick. All right. Now this now this episode is about to be I think may, it might be 2 hours. I don't know yet. But this is a much longer episode than the last one, I believe. Telltale Game presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. Oh shit, here we go. Who the hell's this guy? This time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Who are you? <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Not enough. You have to ask. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Is that so? Knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Kenny? Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Yo, fuck Larry. That's guy's deal, anyway. That old Seems fuck? Like he's got a problem with you in particular. First chance I am I get to kill him, I'm gonna do it. Thinks I'm dangerous. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Oh, yeah, oh, that old prick. Flat. I'm gonna get my revenge on him. Real soon. Shoot it. Shoot it! Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Shoot it, damn it. Oh my god, you're horrible. Who gave you a Shit. sniper? Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh shit. Oh, 
What the hell are these idiots? What the hell? Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Kill him. You guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got raided your camp. That. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Not our problem. This isn't our problem. We should go. No, no, please. At least just look at the trap. Just look at it and maybe you it's can tell us late. how to we get It's too late. We gotta it go. Please help me. Hurry, please, hurry! Uh-oh. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Then we gotta go. Oh no. Yeah, we gotta dip. It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! You kidding me right now? Keep those walkers off of me! Please hurry! No. Fuck. We might have to chop me. his leg off. Chop his leg off. Oh chop it off. Chop it off. Let's no, no, let's no. Go. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Hell no. Let's do this. Oh. It has to be now. One more time. Oh my god. He might be dead after this. Damn it, Reed, shut up. Oh shit. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Oh my god. He might he might just die from the pain. Shit. You cut David free. Oh, he passed out. My god. You. Travis! Come on, come leave on, him, leave on. him, leave his ass. Why is he not running? This mor this absolute moron. This absolute moron. He was like five feet away from him. He could have still made it. The Walking Dead. Okay, maybe not five feet. Maybe three feet. I don't know. Whatever. Episode 2, Starved for Help. Episode's already starting off insane. We have Clementine playing with the ball. Fuck is Duck doing? Oh damn, here they come. Where are they? <laughs> Jesus, Clay. are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell what's going hey, on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. 
<laughs> oh my god. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. Oh, shut we are up. not shut responsible the hell up. for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Oh. Enough for all of us. Oh. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... The hell? Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Oh. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Easy. I'll give one to Clem, Duck, Ke How many is there? Four food. All right. Clem, Duck, Kenny, and myself. Or maybe Carly as well. Maybe I'll just give it to Carly. Instead of ourselves. Look at this idiot. Katja. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? I better not. I better not. <laughs> it's okay, I'll handle it. Just give me some space, okay? I need space, Lee. Maybe we should have helped her. Um, alright. Let's see. Anything here? At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Let's see what these morons are up to. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but but nothing. She's making Yo, shut a up, smart you old choice. Man. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I want to knock that guy out. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Here. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that! Okay, good. Exit. Never mind. 
You get nothing, man. I'm sorry. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we, we just met. We barely know him. Take it. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm gonna give it to Mark. Here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. Shut you up, you old think prick. You give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? I'm going to punch Look, you. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Just let me kill him already. Let's talk to him. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. I'm gonna kill this guy. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Grab, grab the fucking gun. Let me kill his ass. Let me speak to Lily. How you doing, Clem? Or I'll speak to Clem. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help she me? She lost find her it? hat. Sure. Do you really need it? I don't have time. Sorry, honey. I don't <laughs> oh have time. shit. That was my favorite hat. I promise. Oh if damn. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh okay, my god. Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let me speak to Lily. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We For have now. a routine now and it's working. For now. For now. Oh. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man ben you 10. saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. Hmm. I don't know either. It's killing me. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna... Hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? 
It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Well, lucky for you, I got you something. What should I give her? Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Crackers and cheese, half an apple. Let's give her crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Alright, Duck. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is. Is that Pikachu? A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. It's Pikachu. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? <laughs> Look at his face. He's... Oh, shit. Have more crack. Give him crackers and cheese as well. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so hungry. Duck and his family appreciate that. All right. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. All right, let's talk to Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real Fuck dick that. sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Want something to eat? Let's give her half an apple. Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. All right. One more. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. All right, I'm going to give it to Kenny if I can. Back in a bit. Back in a bit. Alright, let's talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Hmm. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others notice you fat Kenny? There we go. Everyone's fed. Well, not everyone. Not such an easy job, is it? No, it was pretty easy. Actually. This guy barely know. Fuck Larry. Lily, know. you don't need to eat. I don't know and how you have the strength to do this every day. Lee, I I I'll obviously I'll survive, so. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're oh, out! Like Larry. What happened to my food? There's no Fuck left. your food. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. 
Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Knock him out again. This little fuck. Let me kill Ken, that old prick. Hey, come here, Larry's bitch ass. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? We need to get rid of- Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What the hell? What the fuck? Yo, what the hell? What the hell? Son of a bitch. Hit him, damn it. Really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Kill him, damn it. Look at this it moron. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot him. Shoot him, damn it. My you God. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Shut up, Larry. Okay. You're gonna get us all killed. Let me kill him. Give me the fucking Why didn't gun. You tell us he was bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten. I swear. Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Oh. You come back no matter how you die. The you hell? You destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. You shit me? We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and god. Back off. Uh-oh, what the hell? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle you. Let me kill this fucking ass. prick already. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy for Dad. Kenny, Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, Pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? We. I'm very hungry. 
Looks like we're going to a dairy. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry's bitch ass. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Not to defend ourselves. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for... Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Good. You think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh-oh. Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it There's all for yourself! Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? Oh, we ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happened. Let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! What the hell? Fuck you! Fuck you! What Jesus. the fuck's wrong with this guy? Asshole. Asshole. Here is going to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Can't have kids around the fence. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Brenda. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? 
I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Hmm. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? We should do whatever we can to help, but let's play. Let's make sure the place is safe. Hmm. We should do whatever we can to help out. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. There's a swing over here. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those thing showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. Anything else over here? Use the gate. Alright, let me speak to Mark. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. Oh, well, there it is. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. This fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. 
Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Let's speak to him. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Hmm, I guess we're going. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? His <laughs> intentions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. He's a piece of shit. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Ah, uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Uh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We can take this place if we have to. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Oh, sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Uh, I was still alive. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. <laughs> Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. There we go. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. 
All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Come on, come on, come on. Holy fuck! Oh, what, what the happened? hell? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! Ah! Son of a bitch. Get to the gate. Son of a bitch. Get down. You asshole, Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Son now of a goddamn the bitch. On that gate is our only way out. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Come on, why can't I push it? Alright, now we should be able to do it. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Why can't I move it? Stay. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the boat! Come on, come on, come on. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Come on, damn it. Son of a bitch. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Where do you think you're going? Don't tell me there's another one. Are you kidding me right now? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Shit! Are you shitting me? Come on. Oh. What? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Are you goddamn shitting me? Are you goddamn shitting me? How many of those things did we push down? What the fuck even happened? Son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Lee, what's wrong? Fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. You oh son of a bitch. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, 
Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. So much for your understanding. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. All right. They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Some anyone over here? Look at Larry's bitch ass. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Hmm. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Shut up, Lily. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. So he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. 
He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our ass. Let me kill this guy already, man. Jesus. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Hold on, what the hell was that? Cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Okay, let me use the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work. If you look at duck in the background on the swing, that becomes a problem. All right, let me get out of here. Generator. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Didn't I look at this already? We. Oui. Hello, duck. Hey, Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? They seem like good people. If we do this right, I still think it could work out for us here. Yeah, this place sure is a step up from that shithole motor in. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor in and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How are you holding How up? How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Kenny. I'm gonna go have a look around. I'll be here if you need me. Let me know if you find anything. They look happy. All right, let me speak to Clem. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? 
All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. There we go. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, Lee? Yeah? I miss my family. I know, Clem. I miss mine, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. It'll have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> oh my god, Duck. Duck really loves to swing. Alright, let me go ahead and use the gate. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Oh damn. Sneak up to the camp. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Anyone in there? I don't think anybody's in there. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Just water.
Looks like they expected to be here a while. Let me search the crate. Nothing. Empty. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Kid sized, huh? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, St. John D Dairy. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What the hell is that? What do you find? Camera? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Good. Let's see if we can find anything useful in that. What do you mean, camera? good? I something on the that gun so, something's on the well. camera. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Anything in here? Clementine's hat. What the hell? Clem's hat. What the hell? I ain't going back. Who are you? Tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are, and I know what you uh -oh. do. Uh oh. What, do, what do they me? do? Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. The fuck? What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person. Shoot her! Shoot her! No. Y'all wave them guns like- Oh! Oh! Shit! 
what the hell did you do that for? Oh, damn. We had a deal with them. She stole Clementine's hat. Somehow she got past us. Oh, oh damn. Inches away from that child. I just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I mean, man. I know she was crazy, but damn. Oh, damn, Lee. That's what I'm talking about. Just shoot her ass. This crazy woman. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So, yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. My God. Crossbow, look at that. Come on. Wow, you can even see pieces of her brain. My God. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, here we go again. Princess, I'll do it myself. Here we go again. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Hmm. They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. around here first hello you really like that guy what's not to like just kind of creepy that's all times like these a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever known this fucking guy your suspicion hmm how do you run this place with just one cow used to have more they get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Hello? I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. This fucking guy. Something's definitely going on around here. All that we don't know yet. That should make everyone happy. Alright, let me use this gate. Let's 
go talk to Lily. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy with a crossbow pointed right at my head. So I had to kill her. Jesus Christ! Did you at least get some goddamn food? No, nothing. I knew it. It was a mistake coming here. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. They are hiding he something. He's to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Alright, let's go. Let's go in the barn. Clem? Look at this cow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Let me hey speak there. to Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. Oh, duck. You guys having fun? Uh-huh. She looks skinny. Alright, let me speak to Clem. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. And now let me give her hat back. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I thought you didn't have time. I came across it by accident. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. 
You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Alright, enough. Let's check that out with the barn. Anything here? What was the point of that? Is there anything in these damn gates? Okay, let's just. What the hell's in here? You found it too, huh? Hmm. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff. Something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. Hmm. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? Oh, no. why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Oh my God! Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Florida. Sorry. Hmm. And he's from Florida, huh? What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow, Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your okay. help again. They're definitely hiding no something. No problem. Right away, Doc. What is behind this door, huh? This little prick. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. This prick. Oh, we're gonna get. We're gonna open that door up. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Let me guess, he's back. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. And I'm he's back. back. Son of a bitch. Alright, how are we gonna distract his ass? What the fuck is Larry doing? Oh, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh my oh, god. I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. 
fucking Larry. a screwdriver for this. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Alright, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Where's the toolbox at? There it is. Let's do this. Now we should be able to get in. Fucking Danny, where did he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Come on, damn it. I wish we can walk faster in this game. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. All right, let's go. Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Penny, come along, honey. Penny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Oh, shit. Here we go. holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Do I really have to do this one by one? There we go. What's in here? What is it? The fuck? Oh, what the fuck? The traps. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Uh oh. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, nothing to worry about. Hmm. He 
He's not even gonna, he's not even gonna close the door. Oh, oh, oh Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Hmm. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. The hell's all this? And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. And his baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. I could use a shave. Gauze pads. Let me head upstairs. Careful now. Mark, are you here? Closet door. Do they need so much morphine for? Something's going on here. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Son of a bitch. Ugh, where is that cord going? Oh. What the hell? Oh, what the shit? What is going on here? Where the hell is Mark? Yeah, where is Mark? Said he was up here resting. There's a secret room. Uh oh. Is blood? There's a secret Fire room here. Books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. So there's a secret room. Oh shit, what's in here? These sons of bitches. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell happened to Mark? Oh shit. Don't eat dinner. Oh my god. They cooked his legs. What the fuck? Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Go, 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 go. Go, damn it. Clem, don't you fucking eat it. Clementine! No! What? Huh? Oh, good. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Okay. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. <laughs> Shut Lee, up, Kenny. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. This little prick. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. 
Rip. Yeah, that's right. Tell me he's not being eaten right now. Oh. It's true. This bitch. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Uh-oh. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out don't of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Oh, this fucking prick. I'll kill you! This little shit. Fuck was that? Mark? Tell me to crawl down the stairs. Please. What the fuck, Mark? Oh my god. Come on! You son of a bitch. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you dead <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, goddammit! <coughs> I will knock the Lee, goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. God, you're worse than the walker! Dad, please! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. Please, oh my god. god. They got caught you in duck, Lee. And those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them. Come on, show yourself. Clark. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Stop! <laughs> God damn it! There's more of us on the way. Larry, you goddamn idiot! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. Oh. What the hell is your problem? Refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. Shut up, Larry. You must really hate I should me. kill you right now. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! No. You're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. You think I give You're a damn? Not gonna open the Larry! Fuck it. Dad, this isn't helping. Salt kicks. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, the door's too solid. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, oh, would you look at that? Easy. Uh, we can't help him this time. 
Fuck you, Larry. No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right oh, about this. Oh, damn. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Oh, oh shit. Come on. You know what? Wait. Fuck Larry. Fuck Larry. Right, Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Larry. No, no, no. That's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Fuck you, Larry. I told you. Don't do that. I'm going to kill you, Larry. You piece of <laughs> shit. Oh damn. Oh damn. Do it, Kenny. Oh. Oh shit. God help us. I'm sorry. I Don't know you it. fucking touch me. Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Oh, oh shit. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. I know you hate Kenny. Me too. But he did what he had to, so we can all go on living. For what? He's got his family. And you've got Clementine. I've got nothing. You've left me with nothing. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. Look at this prick. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away! Yo, calm down, Lily. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Let's talk to Kenny. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she probably sided with the St. John's against us. Kaja and Doc. What about him? You don't think the St. John's... No! They, they need Kaja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We've got to get to them. 
What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to Katya and Duck? What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to Katya and Duck? Hmm. Air conditioner. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. -mm. What's this? If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. All right then. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. You shouldn't me. What the hell then? Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps us change in? You fucking vulture! What the fuck? Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Go quickly. I'm scared. You'll be fine as long as you move fast enough. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Oh my god. God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. 
got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. My God. Slaughterhouse. wrong with these people? Well, we took this instead. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. This is where he cut this off Mark's bad. legs? Is that what happened here? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Stay close. Oh. Outside the bar. Oh shit! Just don't Son of a bitch. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill them. They're talking about killing us. Oh shit! Not the kid. We'll take him out together. How? Just cool. I know him. He's gonna walk past us. He's gonna get the fuck to me. When I let this one thing take and just walk right out. Take him with us with the cracks. What the hell are they doing right now? Uh oh. The fuck you go? Oh shit, where is he? Son of a bitch! Uh oh. Oh. Oh hell no. Oh, yes Kenny. Get him, get him, get him. We're on the truck. Let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Where's my family, asshole? You can't Kill him. Have him. We need the vet. No! Uh oh. Oh, we gotta kill him. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. That crazy woman in the woods tried to warn me and I killed her. Oh, wow. That bitch never got it. She almost fucked up my best deal. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I seen you do it. Just like you killed that woman in the camp. Kill him. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. Come on, Clem. You gotta. You got. You're gonna be doing this in the future. Oh shit. Just go. 
I'll keep Clementine safe. Carly. Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Oh, snap. All right, come on, we gotta go. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy, Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Oh, you frightened Brenda. Come on, Brenda, you little Please. shit. Please, don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Come on, Brenda, you little shit. Stop right there, I mean it. Put the gun down, bitch. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me Oh, go. see the walker behind her? About to be fucked. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! What, what happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just stop! I don't want to kill you, Lee! Don't make this any worse. Just stop. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. They took Doug. Where's Kenny? I said, don't move, asshole. Oh damn. Oh, just shot Kenny. Son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You think I'm playing here, boy? All we wanted was gas. We came to you peacefully. Oh. How did I kill him? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's right, that's right. Kill him. Oh, 
kidding me right now? Uh-oh. Hell no. Hell no. What the fuck am I supposed to do, damn it? Yo, what the fuck? Look at Lily. Look at, look at bitch ass Lily. What the fuck, man? There we go, finally. Oh, beat him up, beat him up. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Please, that's enough. <sighs> He's had enough. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. <sighs> it's over. Fuck you! As soon as Dad and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't fuck with me. You should have never fucked with Don't us. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! What are we gonna do? Kick him. Oh, let's go. That's right. Uh oh. We gotta go before the walkers come. They're getting in. We gotta go right now. Oh, Brenda became a walker. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. Tide and just 
unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. The camera. I that while I was looking for the people who shot Mark, do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad. Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Car. Look at that. Grab the car and let's drive. Come out or I'll shoot. <laughs> Approach the car slowly. No one's here. Figures. Oh crap. Baby, you gotta oh. see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this. We gotta look out for our, our own. Take this, Clementine. We need it to In survive. times like this. Who says it's your decision to make. Shut hey, up, Lily. Don't have time for I'm the shit. leader now. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. I'm the leader now. I've always been the leader. Oh shit! Here we go. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Wow, well, I was taking everything. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. It's yours now.
Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, mm, batteries, you can huh? have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think <laughs> you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Batteries. Oh God. What? Lee, you're gonna want to see this. Oh, what's on the camera? Oh shit. The hell? They're recording us. And there's Clem. What the fuck? Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you. Where are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sorry, hun, I, I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. Huh. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. This Damn, bitch. Don't kill their own. This crazy ass bitch. The people I used to call friends. The people who took. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. The fuck? Crazy ass bitch right there. Well, I think that was it. Yep. Episode 2 is now completed. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh shit. Alright guys, episode 2 is now completed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be starting episode 3 probably right away. It's been your mate Doug Zeldy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.